Hey everyone, I quite often hear some people say, when the Torah was first given at Mount Sinai, but is that when the Torah was actually given to Elohim's people? Let's look into it. Shalom everybody, and welcome to Beit Tefillah. Sometimes we'll read on social media or hear some people state that the Torah was first given at Mount Sinai. But let's remember, when the children of Israel were brought out of Egypt, they were taught a lot of the laws, the statutes, and the ordinances that the people of Elohim had already known for many, many years and way before their time. The children of Israel had either simply forgotten or just didn't know many of these ways as they had been in bondage in Egypt for at least 400 years and had been doing how the Egyptians had been doing and worshiping for hundreds of years. The children of Israel may have remembered some of the ways that were handed down to them, but undoubtedly it was mixed and blended with Egyptian sun god worship. Because they had been in bondage for so long, they had to be retrained, as it were, in the correct path. So when we hear some people say something like, well, these commandments were not given until Mount Sinai, is that correct? Absolutely not. So let's go over some examples in scripture that show some commandments were kept for a good many years before Mount Sinai. And as you hear these, see how many would fit in the list that we refer to today as the Ten Commandments. Genesis 35, 2. Then Jacob said to his household and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you and be clean and change your garments. So it was already known that they weren't to have any idols or other gods before or besides Elohim. Genesis 4.26, Then men began to call upon the name of Yehoah. So already, this early in the scriptures, and men began to take the name of Yehoah and call upon it. Genesis 2.3, And Elohim blessed the seventh day and set it apart, because on it he rested from all his work, which Elohim in creating had made. So here we have evidence of the Sabbath day being set apart. Genesis 4.8, and it came to be when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and killed him. And after this we know that Cain was punished, so you shall not murder was already in place. Genesis 44, 8. See, we brought back to you from the land of Canaan the silver which was found in the mouth of our sacks. How then should we steal silver or gold from your master's house? So there was already a commandment against stealing. Genesis 4.4, 4. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof, and Jehovah had respect unto Abel and to his offering. So, sacrifices and animal offerings were already in place. Abel did as Elohim commanded, and his sacrifice was accepted. Cain thought of something else that he would do instead, and his offering was rejected. Genesis 7.2, of all the clean beasts, take with you seven pairs, a male and his female, and of the beasts that are unclean, two, a male and his female. So here Elohim is telling Noah what numbers of certain types of animals to bring with him onto the ark. Clean and unclean animals were already established. Genesis 9.22 And Ham the father of Canaan saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. So there's a little bit of discrepancy about exactly what happened here but incest was already known to be a sin and seeing your father's nakedness is listed in Torah as possibly sleeping with your father's wife and it doesn't state that Noah's wife was Ham's mother okay so there's a little bit of discrepancy there and that's for another video but I just wanted to mention that Genesis 14 20 and blessed be the most high El who has delivered your enemies into your hand and he gave him a tenth of all so tithing was already being done. Tithing simply means, or to tithe simply means a tenth. Genesis 19.5 And they called to Lot and said to him, Where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out to us and let us know them. Sodom and Amorah destroyed for homosexuality and their wickedness. Already known to be sin. Genesis 26.34-35 and Esau was 40 years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Beri, the Hittite, and Bashamah, the daughter of Elon, the Hittite, 
which were a grief of mine unto Isaac and to Rebekah. Now Esau knew that he wasn't to take wives of the women of Canaan, but he did so anyway, thereby not honoring the wishes and honoring his mother and father. Genesis 39, 9. And how shall I do this great evil and sin against Elohim? So Joseph had said this to his master's wife who wanted to sleep with him before he became Pharaoh's right-hand man. So Joseph must have been aware of the commandment against adultery, and that's a sin. Exodus 5.1 And afterwards Moses and Aharon went in and said to Pharaoh, Thus says Jehovah Elohim of Israel, Let my people go so that they can keep a festival to me in the wilderness. So the Moedim were already in place. And one of the most important, I save this last for this list. Abraham is known as the father of our faith, as Elohim made the promise of the covenant with the land to the seed of Abraham. Why? Genesis 26, 5, as he told Abraham's son Yitzhak, because Abraham obeyed my voice and guarded my charge, my commands, my laws, and my Torah, years before Mount Sinai. So Genesis 26, 5 tells us that Abraham obeyed Elohim's statutes, his judgments, and Torah. So in order to obey him, you need to know them. So he had known all of these already, and Abraham was walking in obedience. You know, I'm sure we could dig through the scriptures and find evidence of many more commandments already in place long before they were given on Mount Sinai. But the list that I just read is a good example of many of them already in place, and I would have to expect that most of them were already in place, with the exception, you know, of some of the Levitical commandments and the commands on how to build the Ark of the Covenant, the Zitziot, and some others. So we have to ask, well, what was given at Mount Sinai? The Torah was reissued to the people as more or less a refresher course. And it was written down this time. Elohim told it to Moses, Moses wrote it down, and it was given as a covenant to the children of Israel, who were the seed of Abraham. A written contract of how they could continue walking in favor. Elohim's word being passed down the line from mouth to mouth and generation to generation didn't seem to happen as the world went on, and he knew that once his people were scattered and went into the dispersion, that it would be just as hard for his people to keep Torah as it was for the children of Israel when they were in bondage. So Elohim wrote with his own finger in the stone tablets, and Moses wrote down the Torah as Elohim instructed to keep it all straight. And Elohim said the following in Deuteronomy 4.2, Do not add to the word which I command you, and do not take away from it, so as to guard the commands of Yehovah your Elohim, which I am commanding you. And this is why anything claimed to be an oral Torah is 100% falsehood. Everything we were to know was written down by either Elohim or Moses. Same deal with his New Testament, 100% falsehood. The children of Israel were retrained in the ways of Elohim and had many things revealed to them, just as we are having many of these same things revealed to us today as we become Israel. Our ancestors, they were in the dispersion and in idolatry for many centuries, and what they did not know or had read from the scriptures was blended with pagan sun god worship, and that's how Christianity came about. That's why Christians keep the same feast days that the pagans did and why they worship a Messiah whose life story was literally copied from ancient sun god stories. Elohim led his people out of Egypt in sun god worship and the Christian church led the people right back to it. That's why those who have claimed to have left the Christian church but have held on to its messianic idol haven't really left. They gave themselves a new name and gave their Messiah a Hebrew name but it's still the same idolatrous lies, but with different names. They are still blending some of what Elohim gave us with idolatrous sun god worship. No different than the children of Israel in bondage in Egypt. Still mixed with falsehood. Still an abomination to Elohim. We are to be set apart from all that. You can't get past the first commandment if you have some kind of New Testament Messiah. We are being trained in the ways of Elohim wherever we have been scattered worldwide. And Elohim will regather us wherever we have been scattered worldwide and bring us into the land in one group and at the same time, just as was done many years ago. Well, I hope this video blessed you. It was just a short little video for today. 
But uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and being a part of Beta Fella. Please sub to the channel if you haven't done so yet. Shalom to all my brothers and sisters who are Yisrael and are scattered worldwide in the dispersion. Everybody be blessed, and have a wonderful day.